Um, it's nothing, oh, I disappeared. There we go. Oh, hey, it's me, Amber. Oh, hello. It's me, Amber, and I'm just practically dead. Look, here are some fun facts I've learned the hard way. And I mean the hard way. One, jet lag is so real. Am I dead? I feel dead. Two, the amount of shampoo or liquids that they let you bring on to the plane is enough for about two days of hair care. What do I do? Two B, um, they don't give you conditioner in most hotels, I've found out. I've only been at one hotel so far, but the one of the guys I was talking to yesterday was like, oh yeah, they very rarely give you conditioner. Hello, I have this white blonde hair. No conditioner? What's even gonna happen there? Three, people don't really love when you take pictures of their roosters. I'm pretty sure I almost got accosted yesterday, um, and I can't tell if they wanted me to give them money or uh, for taking pictures of their roosters, but like, I didn't know you live there. There's too many roosters right there. Why do you live with all those roosters? That makes no sense. Uh, four, most of your stuff sparks and almost catches on fire when you plug it in. Am I doing it wrong? I don't know. Is it just a hazard that we all deal with over here? Let's just hope we don't catch on fire today. Uh, maybe. Five. Or five, five, how do hands work? I don't know, I'm too tired. Sometimes you just accidentally fall asleep in the hallway editing your video because your new keyboard on your computer is too loud so it wakes everybody up so you feel rude and so you just edit your video in the hallway and then you get tired and you fall asleep and then people get in a fight at four in the morning and then you just come inside because don't sleep in the hallway in the freaking Middle East. Good Lord, what am I doing? <sighs> the shekels are about three and a half shekels to one dollar. Um, and cost of living is pretty much the same over here. I don't know, that's number six or something. I've lost count. I'm done giving my face a rest. I need to look like a human, so I put makeup on. I'm late to breakfast. You guys know how much I love the breakfast here. It's so good. So I'm gonna have to, I don't know, just get some hot baked cheesecake to go. I guess there's been worse problems. Seven, no iron. So I guess I'll just look like um, a homeless person because all of my clothes are completely wrinkled the whole entire time. Where do you wash your clothes? I don't do laundry. <laughs> Eight, I don't do laundry at home. So like, how am I gonna do laundry right here? I'm like, oh, I'll just wash it in the sink and let it dry. Wash it in the sink with what? I don't have freaking laundry detergent. What am I thinking? How do you be a person with no home base? I'm just not realizing I don't know how to be a person at home. I had no consistency or routine. So I'm like, that'll make it so much easier. No, it makes me helpless and just insane out on the road. I think that's the majority of the lessons. We'll just see how it goes. Now let's just hurry up and go get breakfast. But also, listen, I might not do a lot of filming today because we'll be at the Holocaust Museum and I'm probably just gonna be sobbing. But luckily I was smart enough to buy waterproof mascara, which I don't know if you can tell. This is from last night because I only shower, or showered. <laughs> no, I wish I showered. I only slept for like three hours again last night. So all of these eyelashes are from yesterday and they're all like matted together on this side. This one, not too bad. Oh, except for this, okay, not too good. <laughs> But not too bad. This one, matted together, barely looked like a human. Also, uh, don't look. Bit all my nails off. I was doing so good for like three months. I grew my nails out, everything was, I'm like, what color nail polish am I gonna take with me? Now my fingers look like toes. Whatever. Nobody wants to date me on the road anyway. How am I ever gonna, uh, let's just not even talk about all those problems. Let's just go already and hope everything works out. Okay, see ya.
so I am here at the house of Caiaphas, or at least a church now that is built on where the house of Caiaphas is. It's really incredible here. There's um, the original prisons downstairs where it looks like uh, Jesus was probably kept after he was captured right before his crucifixion. I had a really good conversation with uh, Moshe, who is our guide. He is Jewish, and so just a really, we went to the Holocaust Museum this morning um, and just had some really great conversations on the bus just about what it means Judaism as a birthright, Judaism as a heritage, um, the misconception of Judaism as a race, um, Judaism practicing and non-practicing, and um, just a bunch of really, really cool conversations. So, uh, just been an enlightening day. So today we are going to, um, but we were supposed to be going to Bethlehem, but it turns out that there is a strike, uh, but it is a planned strike. So it's nothing dangerous, um, but it's something you just don't really want a chance, you know? So we've moved that to tomorrow. Uh, before our Shabbat dinner, which I'm also very excited about. We'll go to the marketplace tonight and then just see how it goes from there. So we are here at the Israeli market. Look around, it is beautiful in here. We are gonna try all the foods and all the um, shopping and just all the everything. The Crusades and some Christian based anti Semitism that the Jewish community has felt for many years. I think that's. Uh, 